backslash true to today's video. I'm gonna time it real quick here from to video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about part two of um, the music industry. This is a video, you know, sponsored by Wake the Damn Up Ministries. That's my new ministry that I just started. You know what I'm saying? It's going to start online and then I'm going to actually build it to something physical. You know what I mean? So right now, you know, it's a social concept, let's just say it like that. Now, like I was saying, with all these things that's going on in the music industry, and not even just in the music industry, all the stuff that's going on in the world, the idea was birthed by some type of Hollywood entertainment film. You said what? You know what I'm saying? So, every thought, sorry, every action somebody commits out here that's a negative action it is influenced by a thought that was created or inspired by a Hollywood entertainment film or Hollywood entertainment production such as music movies music videos sitcoms television shows award shows all that stuff and anything else that falls into the sports Anything else that falls to the category of entertainment. That Hollywood. Entertainment at Hollywood. Not just entertainment, because you got some actual organic entertainment out there. But you got a lot of entertainment that's into with Hollywood and shit. You know what I'm saying? They do some other shit out there. So, like, for example, right, anybody who follows hip-hop culture or listens to rap music, really follow hip-hop culture, actual, like, hip-hop culture, like, from, I guess you could say, it's the whole thing. So, like, even today's music, that's the newer generation of so-called hip-hop, a.k.a. rap, or all of any other sub-genre, you want to call it, right? is Hollywood and these different producers and stuff, they invest all this money into people because they have a different agenda, you know, on a higher plane that they're not revealing to them, like to the artists. And, um, you know, these artists, they are told to do different things, like pose in this photo like this, do this and that. And in their mind, they just feeling good and shit because they got their first, you know, taste of success or actual real success. So they feel good and shit. And they just listen to what the photographer and the people tell them what to do. So they don't know the metaphysical shit about this unless they actually woke. Unless they actually woke. You see what I'm saying? And the thing is, 
This shit is crazy because it's all like a pyramid scheme. How they got this shit set up. So like, and then I'm just gonna break it down for you on like a mundane scale, like a small scale, because. I don't want to confuse you and blow your brain out too much. <laughs> you know, so you oh shit. You know, so uh, see that was a confirmation from Mother Nature. But anyway, right. So this is how they do it. So they got the prison industry. It's on the open stock market. Big companies invest in prisons. Why? Because they have they subsidiaries that's all the same people that's related. And they create different companies and they all subsidiaries to get different contracts with each other because they all family and they all related. And they sign and they seek out these artists, but it's a male or female, no matter where you're from. And they see, like, they already got these different characters created. They just need an actual physical body to embody, excuse me, that script. That's what it is. You embody in that script. So that means now you walking on a timeline or the timeline they created for that character. So let's say if you such and such and they give you a name like Travis Scott. Now you Travis Scott. But that's his actual name. You know what I mean? So I'm just using as an example. You get what I'm saying? Or let's say you like a like a Megan Thee Stallion or some shit. You know, that's not her real name. You said that that's an alias. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a character in that script for that particular character. And that's the same thing, you know, with any of these, any of these other artists. You know what I'm saying? Like a little Boosie, any one of these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's not his real name. I mean, that's his character. That's his image type shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they hire, well, not hire. They like, you know, give these people these, this money and stuff. But a lot of these people don't know because a lot of these people come from the hood. They come from their poverty, their poverty areas. They're not really seeing too much action on the financial side or just being sophisticated of us. That individual, that individual person is that type of person who wants to seek out that type of stuff. But as in a whole, most people that's in those type of economical situations, they don't really know. So they're like easy targets to these big labels and big industries and stuff. So they give them all this money and stuff, knowing they don't know what to do with it. And I made a video about this. Karma on all different levels. You got financial karma, spiritual karma, all the different types of stuff. Physical karma, or whatever you want to call it, you know, what you want your soul. But it's on different levels. You see what I'm saying? Because as humans, we exist on different planes of existence, different levels. So the thing is, what they do is, they give these people all this money and shit, they have them rap about killing and all that shit because a lot of these people come from this type of area where they see this shit anyway so they they give you creative control because they know all you're going to do is rap about killing and robbing your own kind and shit like that or even if you ain't rapping about killing and robbing your own kind you're still putting that shit putting that shit out there to all humans and mankind to get that vibration out there you see what I'm saying so now these people they fans of your music they go out there and kill somebody now they going to jail and you getting the check off that shit, and you you like, damn, my royalties this much, my shit look this, my shit looking fat this much, damn, my shit looking huge. I wonder how this shit get up there. I'm, I'm selling a lot of records. You ain't selling no goddamn records, fool. You see what I'm saying, nigga? You send the motherfuckers straight down to the abyss. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And that's what the fuck going on. And you know, now let's say if these people smart, or they smart enough on a level. But they rap about the gangs and stuff and all that. But they know how to move in the streets and shit like that. And, you know, let's say the elite's like, you know what? We want to recuperate that money back from this person because we feel like we gave this person too much money and this person's smarter than we thought. You see what I'm saying? So now we got to set them up, blood sacrifice them type shit. Because you, you know, secrets and you got taste of wealth and insights on different shit. And they see you as a target because they let this motherfucker might fuck around and dip off of something. So they, woo, 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 you feel me? And, you know, engage the play. They play it out. And that's how these situations be unfolding. You know what I'm saying? Sad to say. But, and then you got the music industry. They connected with, you know, uh, a lot of, like, dark web stuff. 
you know, uh, satanic rituals and stuff like that, it's already out there. It's not like it's private. It's actually known. It's public stuff on public record. And all this shit is associated with that. They're doing up hand signs and all that type of shit. All that shit is associated with that. Whether they know what they're doing or not, the people who's in charge of them, who's writing a check and signing off on a check, know what the fuck it means. You see what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm saying. This shit is on a higher plane, so it's like... It's just crazy, man. It's like they, these people, you know, they work with organ harvesters and motherfucking organ traffickers and human traffickers and sex traffickers. They work with these type of people. All this shit is connected. So as soon as the motherfucker, let's say, get killed or something, they preserve or try to take any organs they can and sell that shit. And that's another way they get money, too. Illegal organ harvesting. That's what happened to St. Quilla Robinson. Rest in peace. That's what happened to that other lady. That was in uh, Mexico and left and went to Peru. It's the same thing that happened. It was a setup, bro. I'm telling you. Motherfuckers out here getting desperate and starving, bro. Motherfuckers be eating niggas. This shit is real. This shit is disgusting, but that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man. You just gotta be a well head, man. Be on your P's and Q's, man. Like. <sighs> oh, shit. You gotta love the people that love you. You know what I'm saying? Just. Take the ones that you think, you know, that you really care about, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Because if you think about it, if you got all this money in the world, let's say you lost all your money right now, where will you be at? Will all those people even still be around you? That's the thing you have to ask yourself. And even even, should, even if they was, but it's still, like, what's money anyway? Everything on this earth is supposed to be free. But money is a tool, a construct, a construct to help you create economical wealth in this system, economical freedom, because the basis to economical freedom is on the land, you see what I'm saying, and majority of the natives don't even own land, there's a lot of them that do, but it's not as many as it should be, you see what I'm saying, and land's supposed to be just free in general to every people, it's supposed to be equal to all, you see what I'm saying, so all this shit is all a construct, it's called death by design, generational curses how do you speak your own death into the universe and watch it play out <laughs> that's why they call it the metaverse they're taking this shit to a metaphysical level I don't think you understand what I'm saying man but wait the damn up new videos coming soon you feel me more podcasts coming soon the devil lurking but God working <laughs>